Let's start this around. Please sign. I signed up John here, so you'd have no mistakes. And <laughs> please sign in the same way, because that's your example. John's an example. Do it as well as I did. <laughs> so I'll start here. Got a pen. Pass it all around. First of all, welcome. Uh, obviously, see the street. Glad listening. you're here. You got to do this. Uh, Please. Ho hope we don't get the same kind of rain we've had for the last four days. Uh, on our rain gauge, seven miles north of here, we've had over four inches in three days. So, uh, I mean, let's, everything looks good for the next few days. Uh, I just wanted to uh, welcome everybody. Uh, we had a meal here the other other night uh, that uh, really Linda organized with the ladies from CCSC, some of whom are represented over here, and they're also going to be doing the future meals, I think, mm -hmm. uh, if we just uh, sort of uh, give them a round of applause. To Thank you. <laughs> the one other item I had was we have set up an a, uh, email address called contest at soarccsc.com. Those of you who are using SPOT, you can add that to your uh, listing, and uh, it will, will, we will have that screen up occasionally uh, as part of the uh, retrieve desk, so that if you do have some uh, calls that you want to make or press some buttons, it will show up at that address. Other than that, welcome. Enjoy the contest. Thank you. Okay, the um, sonic sheet's going around, that's good. The scorer is Andrew Dignan, the other man is Tom Kelly, and the ground crew master is Gary Adams. I'm not sure if he's here, but I think he, I think he went home to rest. Get ready for tomorrow. Um, there will be a safety box in the clubhouse room. The competition committee is going to be uh, Andrew Dignan, Kathy Naples, and Don Burns, should we have any disputes or something we need to settle. And I'm sure we'll be beating our path to Ken Sorensen's door to give us the decisive words for our Kate Nixon. <laughs> so in case you guys aren't familiar with that, Kate Nixon is the chairman of the Rules Committee, for SSA, and Ken is the chairman of the overall contest committee organization. And they do a lot of work, so we should be happy that they do that work. Um, the tax selection committee will be Hank Nixon and John Lubon tonight. We won't be meeting every morning. Have to be consult with our brother man, Tom Keller. Declared sunset at 7.30. Um, minimum, finish, minimum finish height at the finish point is 500 feet. And uh, on finishes around here, I'm not on the radio. I will give you wins if you ask. I expect all of you to coordinate with each other. I expect you to be saying, you land long, I go right, and you do not land short. I expect that to be the way you come in. So I'm off the radio, so you can talk to each other. And your, more, your voices are more important. Um, remember to fly to the left within five miles of the site here or the star cylinder. And don't forget your critical assembly checks. Make sure you and a partner or somebody on the grid next to you, you want the left wing tape sign with initials before you get a launch. So it will be going to make slip ups there. Uh, flying buddies. Who has not ever flown at CCSC before? Take 
these two folks over here, Tom Kelly and Jay Walker, and you'll be their mentor if they have questions. <laughs> Murray can take uh, Mr. Elliott and more Mark. You go long. <laughs> <laughs> Does anybody miss was, was another hand up there? Okay, those two, uh, Jake Jersey and um, Jake Jersey and uh, Greg Reed. Oh, Dave. Dave Fixon. Okay. And go, John Luwan. <laughs> and who else have we got? I don't know. Pete Alexander. Pete Alexander, we'll put you with Joe Jackson. Where's Joe? Uh, Joe's out. Joe had a bike. Yeah, oh, that's right. Joe, Joe dislocated his shoulder. He's not going to fly. Pete so Alexander will go with uh, John Murray, too. You got Pete, too. You go along. <laughs> All right. Did that cover it? Did I miss anybody? The only time I flew here, it was going to be about seven weeks. Okay. Joe, you go with the Sierra Mike. Okay. Okay, the airport rules are kind of basic. First of all, drive on this airport very, very slow. I once got told at a different airport, when you're driving slow, you think, get a little bit slower, and you're probably at the right speed. We have lots of kids, people, dogs wild animals and stuff just roam this place like it's their own, because it sort of is. And when you come around this corner, it's a blind corner. And you don't want to fly into somebody or hit somebody. On the way in the driveway, it's very polite to come in slowly because you kick up dust. And the dust you kick up goes directly into the caretaker's house. So even on the ins and outs of the driveway, if you drive a little slower, it helps a whole lot. Now, it's not to be dusty today because it's wet, but on more normal days, we do pick up quite a bit of dust there. Um, keep your dogs, please, confined during dinner hours. Not too many things are more unpleasant than to go to the grill and find that your steak's gone. Some dog has <laughs> helped himself and it's not there. <laughs> now, for flying around here, the pod queens will be 10 o'clock every morning. And John Lubon's going to tell you about stuff here. Airspace. You ready? Yeah, I'm ready. Okay, all right. Go for the airspace. All right, I was hoping for a map. This would make it a lot easier if I have a map. Okay, space here. Okay. Uh, no, yeah, yeah, just yeah. talk yeah. into it, please. Just recording for yeah. But your mother won't be able to recognize you. All right. All right, I'm going to do one of your closest. As far as airspace goes, let's uh, start at, uh, at Wilmington. Wellington is our is Class D, which is uh, that direction that uh, right now is appears to be uh, the drill tower is normally uh, turned off. So, uh, but it's still protocol to if, if the Class D is uh, 119.47, turn it on, make an announcement, nobody will answer, and then just happily go right on through uh, with thermal spots so that's over the town of Wilmington and the airport itself. Um, nobody's landed there recently, so we're not sure if there's any. Uh, issues with landing there. Uh, chances are not. When, when they were operating, they were there was landing fees involved, but uh, but now that the DHL sort of department, uh, we don't expect any issues, so we'll probably get to test that sometime this week. Uh, Class B airspace is uh, uh, toward Cincinnati. Uh, I want to stay clear of that. There was some, there was some questions today about uh, whether whether or not we can fly under the Class B airspace. There will be no tasking underneath that. But we did get clarification that. Can fly underneath there and land if there are some airports underneath there, but that is not the only way we'd be tasking. We don't have any tasks that really uh, go up along at least uh, that, that piece of it. Uh, however, out, out, at, out at Oxford, we do task out to Oxford, and Oxford is uh, is three miles from uh, from the airspace. So just be heads up, heads up there. You look at hang up the airspace. Uh, Andy Goff a few years ago uh, we took the thermal and drifted off. Out, uh, out to the west, we have Lorraine. Lorraine is an airport that uh, we pass through quite frequently. It's sort of a, uh, it's sort of a go through Lorraine to get get further out to the west. Uh, 